everybody, Jared back again, and you're probably wondering why I've got a piece of paper and my Galaxy S4 ready to go. Uh, well, I wanted to demonstrate the optical reader application of the Samsung Galaxy S4, which in essence allows you to go into their language library and choose from their list and convert... Uh, the language that you're pointing your camera at into whatever it is you need to be able to read. So whatever language it is that, you know, you natively speak. Uh, so obviously I'm in English here. So I went on to Google Translate and I converted or at least translated read all languages into a couple of different languages such as Spanish, German, French, Japanese, which I did twice for some reason, as well as Russian. So let's go ahead and start out with Spanish and see exactly how well this performs. Now keep in mind though that, um, you know, language translator applications, they're never, at least I don't think think they're ever going to be a hundred percent just because you know translation if you know what I mean like when you're when you're trying to convert a spoken sentence into a different language from English um, you know those other languages will often have different ways of how they kind of say them you know word combinations and things like that so let's just go ahead and see how well it does so we've got Spanish queued up ready to go I might need to refocus this for you guys a little bit there sorry about the flashing of the uh, LCD screen that's just kind of that's just kind of the cookies um, so anyways we'll go ahead and we've got Spanish queued up let's see what so read that's good everybody them <laughs> language. <clears throat> so it did that fairly quickly. Let's go ahead and move on to uh, German here. So we'll go ahead and select German in the um, language library here. So there we go. And we've got German queued up, ready to go. And if we can get that into the shot here, read all speak. Ooh, what's this? I was picking it up as your for a second. Read your all speak. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and move on to uh, French. Go ahead and load up French. There it is. And I'll just go ahead and look. There it is. So is it going to... There we go. Read all... Takes a little while, doesn't it? Oh, there we go. Language. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and move on to uh, Japanese now. So we'll go ahead and cue that up. It's right there. There we go. So from right to left. Read. Just kind of waiting for it to pick up any of the characters. It's not going to, is it? So that didn't work out too well for Japanese. Let's go ahead and move on to our final one, which is Russian. Go ahead and queue that up in the library. And already. So let's go ahead and see if it'll... No, that's not right. There you go. Read. All. So it picked up on all. Oh, it's still picking up on on. <laughs> all language. So that's not bad at all. So, you know, again... You know, language translation applications, like I said before, it's going to be hard. Some things get lost in translation, <laughs> as they say. Uh, but overall, I think it's a pretty neat application. I think it's a great idea, especially for those of you that are do a lot of traveling. Um, anyways, guys, that was a demonstration of the Galaxy S4's uh, optical reader application. Uh, hopefully you liked the video. If you did, click that likes button down below. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this in the future if you haven't already. And also follow me on Twitter and Google Plus to stay up to date on all of my videos in the future. That's it for now. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.